of round one. San Remo, Italy. Marv Albert along with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. An upcoming and eight-round junior welterweight matchup between Johnny Bump City Bumpus out of Nashville, Tennessee. A record of 7-0 and with five knockouts going up against Arsenio Green from Allentown, Pennsylvania by way of the Dominican Republic. Green with a record of 11-4. and His last fight was back here in San Remo in September. A surprise technical knockout in the second round of top-ranked contender Juan Jose Hino. Menace. How Our junior welterweights, 20-year-old Johnny Bumpus in the blue trunks from Nashville, Tennessee. And Arsenio Green out of Allentown, Pennsylvania, born of the Dominican Republic. And Green, fittingly, in the green trunks, 24 years old, a record of 11-4 and four with six knockouts. Johnny Bumpus, perhaps the class of the June Olympic trials where he was the gold medal winner in the 139-pound late welterweight division. In fact, Bump City planned to follow the path of the 76 gold medal winner in that division, a fellow by the name of Sugar Ray Leonard. Green's opened up here. He has not given Bumpus any room to show that class and that cream coming to the top. He is going to stand right on him and not give him a chance to, to uh, slick him from outside. Arsenio Green said earlier that he tried to pressure Bumpus inside with four in and looked to show much activity, and he has come out of that style. Got a Bumpus on the attack. Bumpus with the combination to Arsenio Green. And Bumpus looking for a uh, early departure here at round one. He has Green hurt. And the referee, Ineo Globo, providing the standing eight. Inside, inside. Prime inside. example of ring rust, Marv. He came out, tried to pressure him, but uh, Johnny Bumpus is the cream of the crop, and he's got magnificent lightning reflexes, which have used. He moved back in time to take the pressure off, and then he's come forward punching. Green's last bout was last September here in San Remo. A surprise as he dropped Juan Jose Jimenez in the first round, stopping about cuts then in round number two, and has not fought since then. He says the reason two rematches against Jimenez fell through. You cannot miss against Johnny R Bump City Bumpus and not get hit. He has got some kind of reflexes. He's got every punch in the book. Also a southpaw, but his best punch is a right hook uh, rather than the inside left. And Bumpus always in excellent condition. Less than 30 seconds remaining, round he one. He keeps that jab in Arsenio's face. Every once in a while, he crosses with a very strong... He has everything. You, you just can't catalog all his punches. Less than 10 seconds remaining of this first round. And this is round two, Arsenio Green in the green trunks and Johnny Bumpus in the blue, all Bumpus in round one. These are junior welterweights. Arsenio Green is married, works as a cutter in a t-shirt factory in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Green thought he had Bumpus in trouble on the ropes. Bumpus is the kind of fighter that uh, European fans will take to their heart as he progresses because he's got everything that they love here. Fine boxing, quick hands, quick feet. A very cool, very low-key, rarely shows a change of expression, as we saw a moment ago when it was on the ropes. There were two jabs and a hook off the jab by Bumpus. One minute in, second round, Marv Albert and the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco, from San Remo, Italy. Nice, 
Johnny Bumpus began boxing back in 1971 after he said he lost many schoolyard brawls. Another punishing overhand left and right. Again, John. Seemed to stun Green, but here he comes again. He stunned Green earlier in the first round, and Green rallying back draws the crowd applause. One minute left, round two. Buff is showing that kind of ring mastery that gladdens the heart of ring teachers. He is right now doing what you try to teach a boxer to do, punch, punch, and then get away. Punch, punch, and then not get hit, and that's what he's doing. Georgie Benton, a fine middleweight from Philadelphia that had 1,045 fights, I think, has brought him very, very well. Ooh, left hand snap by Johnny Bumpus. Bumpus working like a surgeon in command, nice and cool, not excited. And less than 10 seconds remaining. Round two. And this is round three. Johnny Bumpus in the blue, Arsenio Green in the green trunks. Bumpus 7 and 0 oh as a pro with five knockouts. His last bout last month, Atlantic City, second round knockout of Norberto Figueroa. And Green has not fought since last September, a surprise TKO victory here in San Remo against top ranked contender Juan Jose Jimenez. Get in, stay in, stay in there. Green committing the cardinal error of everyone that fights a good left handed fighter. He is not trying to circle and move around. He's coming on straight in. He doesn't even try to bob and weave too much. And that is deadly. What a mistake against a good power puncher like. Bumpus, who can just pinpoint those punches with accuracy. Look at those combinations. Effortless. In fact, Bumpus says he doesn't go out looking for the knockout because boxing is the art of landing more punches. So his style is hit and not get hit, as you mentioned earlier, Ferdy, is something that uh, the European fight fans really appreciate. He will be a big, big favorite in Europe. Look how they love that. Look how they love that move. He just made a move on Green to make him get in the corner. He just slicked himself right out of the corner and back Green into the corner. That's the kind of move Europeans love. Halfway through, third round. Johnny Bumpus, who had that incredible record as an amateur, 341 wins, 16 losses. That uh, very similar to a couple of other uh, tomorrow's champions, boxers Tony Ayala, Bernard Taylor. Enormous amateur experience. Of course, there's a little difficulty beside all the diff oh, 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 left hand thrown left. by Bump City Bumpus. Another one stood him right back on his heels. Green went right back on his heels with that left hand. Arsenio Green out of Allentown, Pennsylvania, born in the Dominican Republic. He's 24 years old. He's 5'6", 138 giving away much height to Johnny Bumpus, who goes at six feet, 140 and a half. I was gonna say, in addition to all of his other problems tonight, one problem is he's having to punch up to a much taller man, and he's having a great deal of problem adjusting to everything that's happening to him tonight. And this third round is coming to a conclusion. Round four, Johnny Bumpus in the blue trunks. Arsenio Green in the green. George Benton in Bumpus's corner telling uh, Bump City that 
Sabrina's been so confused. Got to keep landing those combinations. And the referee, Ineo Colombo, breaking the fighters. <laughs> Bumpus looking for the break. So cool. He was so cool. He just put his arm right over Green's neck and head and held him and just looked at the referee and said, okay, break us up. The size, the reflexes, the speed, too much for Arsenio Green. Good combination by Bumpus, uh, prompting the applause again. We are in the Aristotle Theater in downtown San Remo on the beautiful Italian Riviera. And 20-year-old Johnny Bumpus, one of the outstanding young prospects in boxing in the world. In command here on Arsenio Green. Pretty, how about those two excellent middleweights upcoming on NBC on June the 14th? We've got Frank the Animal Fletcher, the thunderous punching Fletcher, with 10 KOs, 11, 2, and 1 versus Norbert Sabater, who's 19 and 0, the darling of Gotham City, and it's going to be June the 14th. Another crossroad fights for two up and coming middleweights. Whoever wins this goes forward. Bob City displaying his entire arsenal in this fourth round. Bob City punches what seems to be light punches. He's punching a lot, but every once in a while, he just throws in a bomb amongst those light punches. That's what uh, is the real devastating part of Bumpus attack. Again, he swung him out by utilizing his size, his hand speed, and his foot speed. There he is again. He's a dancing man. It looks like a fencing exhibition here. And we are final seconds, fourth round. And this is round number five. A very confident, exuberant corner to our left, the blue corner, the corner of uh, Johnny Bumpus. I'd pay money to work in Bumpus' corner, <laughs> let me tell you. There is no anxiety going on in Johnny Bumpus. They're telling him just what we were talking about a moment ago, just a bipping and bopping away, and then all of a sudden drop something heavy in. Georgie Benton likes his fighters to be active, to keep his punches going, even if they're just hitting gloves. And then all of a sudden, land a real one. Is that a boxing term, bipping and bopping? Yes, it is. It's also a big term in Second Avenue in the ghetto. Arsenio Green, out of Allentown, Pennsylvania, a record of 11 and 4. Johnny Bumpus, 7 and 0, oh, with five knockouts. Uh, those records supplied by Ring Magazine were a minute gone by in round five, and it's been Bumpus's fight from the start. All credit to Arsenio. He's been standing in front of him, taking that variety of uh, pummeling and still coming in. Too short, too slow is Arsenio Green's problem tonight. Come around, come around, get on. Again, Johnny Pumpus uh, very confidently looking for the referee to break uh, the two fighters. He's landed at least 10 shots to the nose of Green in this fifth round. Johnny Bumpus was born in Tacoma, Washington, spent much of his youth in Nashville, Tennessee, where he worked for the Nashville Sheriff's Department. In fact, moved to Nashville to train with Clint Jackson's boxing program. 
Johnny, the youngest of seven children, has six sisters. Tremendous right hand by Bumpus. Set up a left cross that almost put Green on the canvas. What would you say, Ferdy, uh, in the corner of Arsenio Green following this round? What is there to say? I try to figure out how to negotiate a surrender. The Bumpus corner reminding Bump City, 30 seconds remaining of the round. We're very, very close here, and the corners can be heard by the fighters as well as the commentators. It's extremely close at ringside here. And we're final seconds. Fifth round. Too, too fast. Throw it here. Throw it here. You're not listening to me. You wait too long to throw the left hook. When you're inside, throw it right away. You understand? Hey, hey, hey you throw like this. Throw it short. Throw it short. You understand? Now you got three more rounds. Is there six coming up? Manager trainer John Florio in the corner of Arsenio Green telling Green you're waiting too long to throw that uh, left hook. This is round six. Green in the green trunks with the white stripe, Bumpus in the blue. Arsenio told us earlier he would try to pressure Bumpus inside that he'd bore in and show activity, and that's what he did right at the start, but since then it's been uh, Bumpus. The throwaway move by uh, he learned that, City. He learned that watching the uh, Scipion fight <laughs> with Ham Show. Up to this point, it's an absolute shutout. He should be wearing the Yankee trunks. It's a shutout fight for Johnny Bump City Bumpus. Alex Ramos wearing the Yankee pinstripes in an earlier bout. And Bumpus going right back to the body of Arsenio Green. We're at the midway point. Round six. Bumpus has found a home in the body of Arsenio Green. He has been landing looping uppercuts to the body. In fact, Bumpus looking to put Green away right here. He was uh, told by his corner, all right, round six, uh, John, why not go out and end it? He certainly can right here. He's going to get a standing eight count if he keeps that up. And here's the standing eight as Arsenio Green was defenseless in the corner. Johnny, Johnny. Oh, right back to the attack. He knows what got him there is the body shots, and there they go again. There go the body shots. Good punches right to the head by Buffus in combination. Again to the body. Very calm, very collected Bumpus knows where the money's at. It's down below. And he doubled up that time with the right hand. Under and over, under and over. That's what it does. It has been a very quiet crowd here in San Remo, but they have responded to the left-right combinations of Johnny Bumpus, who has been pitching a masterpiece here on our second grade. You got it? On to round seven. Arsenio Green told by his manager, trainer John Florio, you have to punch to get back in this fight. It has been all Johnny Bumpus. Bumpus in the blue on the right. Green took a standing eight in round six. Johnny Bumpus looking to make an 8 and 0 oh as a professional. On the road. On the road. Oh, terrific.
terrific combination by Bumpus. Bumpus is really measuring along these ropes. He gets them under, he gets them over, and he just measures them. Perfect uppercut by Bumpus. Now a combination, three, four, five punch combination. At times of the sixth round, you have the idea that Green was virtually defenseless. That could disqualify Green. He really didn't need to do that. That's a little bit of showboating. He didn't need to do that. Sticking yourself any part on the outside of the ring on purpose, you can get disqualified for it. Now Green comes back with his own... Oh, 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 look out. With his own attack. Where was he? Bumpus was there, and all of a sudden he wasn't. Green came right through the ropes. Very, very slick, Mr. Bumpus. And we have a minute left, round seven. We are scheduled for eight, a matchup of junior welterweights. Another standing eight count, and it. Would you consider stopping the fight? I definitely point? would. After that last barrage, he reached the fight. Referee Colombo has saying that's enough. Johnny Bumpus with the technical knockout in round seven. This about that saw Arsenio Green defensiveness at times during the course of the sixth round and in the seventh Johnny Bumpus throwing a masterpiece at Green and finally the referee Colombo stops the fight in round seven. All right Ferdy's all set with Johnny Bumpus let's go to the ring. Johnny Bumpus you pitched a shutout and it was a boxing clinic. Do you think you could got him earlier? Uh, yes I think I could have got him earlier if I would have started with the big body punch as well earlier. Unfortunately, I didn't, so I settled for what I got. Are you going to stay a junior welterweight, or are you going to go up to a uh, full welterweight? Well, I want to stay a junior welterweight till after I fight either Aaron Pryor or Salman, because I would like to have the junior welterweight title then. The those, are, those are two big boys and hard fighters. Well, by the time I get to them, I'm going to be a hard fighter and a big boy. Very good. Good night. Back tomorrow. So, Johnny Bumpus taking out Arsenio Green in round seven. As 1973, a beautifully proportioned Ken Norton training. Muhammad Ali is on a non-stop comeback trail, and Ken is carefully chosen to help Ali prove it. It's round two. Ali in white trunks. Norton wears blue. 